Now one of the largest archaeological missions working in Egypt, not simply an archaeological mission, also an educational mission. A burgeoning effort to train Egyptian archaeologists through ERA's field school program is on its fifth grant from USAID and may eventually be ERA's strongest legacy. We have three types of field schools. The beginner's field school, which covers the basics of archaeological recording and, and excavation, as well as an introduction to specialities, ceramics, animal bone, objects, conservation, excavation of burials, survey. Then we have a second year where each group specializes on a very, very specific skill. And this is what we're teaching now. And my group is specializing in survey, which is highly technical and sophisticated technique. They're using total station, which is a theodolite, electronic theodolite. They have to download the points into a computer, do printouts. But at the same time, we're trying to teach them low tech by simply stringing out tapes, taking offset measurements, leveling the tape with a line level, and using plumb bobs. So very simple tools for hopefully a very accurate result. This is a thing that's very important about our field school for me, is that we, something I value very highly about the field school program, we're teaching critical thinking. Okay, this is the general view for the shoot. Well, once a week we ask each group to choose a representative to explain the work that they've been doing for the week. And they have to do this in English, and they have to either use PowerPoint or make the drawings on the whiteboard. And the idea is that they get used to explaining to colleagues, again in English, because you can do very good work, but if you can't put it across in a coherent way with the right vocabulary, then it doesn't look so good. So we are trying to find uh, MPT spaces. All of our field school students are members of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, the Egyptian government authority in charge of all monuments and archaeological sites. They all have college degrees, but none of them have had any prior training in scientific excavation. During my days, earlier days, I would have given an arm and a leg to have such a chance to learn all the techniques and be exposed to different cultures, different experiences.